Ville. You can see that haze along the horizon, traffic moving smoothly. Let's check in with Matt now as we look ahead to your Wednesday forecast. I think we've got a pretty cool sunset to look out for because that smoke, I know it's gray now, but once that sun gets a little bit lower in the sky, it'll become a little bit more red and orange. So it'd be a cool picture to take this evening. Temperatures will continue to slowly slide. We're not going to watch them just crash tonight because we've got a southerly wind. We're in the upper 70s now. We'll slide about the mid 70s by about 9 o'clock. Eventually, we should get to maybe some upper 60s. We'll try. In the River Valley, we're in the 80s now, but we'll be in the upper 70s in the next just couple of hours. But I want to talk a little bit more about the smoke because we can look where it's coming from and we can track roughly where the smoke is heading across the United States. So the gray and dark uh, kind of black color show you some of the smoke, but you see that hot spot there in southwestern New Mexico. So if we zoom in just a little bit closer, you know, here coming in towards 6 o'clock, we've got this good batch of smoke coming right over the state line, coming in from this fire just a little bit southwest of Albuquerque. Over time, that fire keeps on going, but I think tomorrow, in the upper levels of the atmosphere, we'll have a little bit more of a northwesterly wind, so it's going to take some of the smoke and just dive it south, maybe more towards Texas. We could still have a little bit of the air tomorrow, but the majority of the smoke should be south of the Red River tomorrow. So I think tomorrow we'll get a little bit more sun. Now in the morning, there may be a few leftover clouds, but I think in the afternoon, instead of having that kind of milky, gray, smoky sky, we should see a little bit more blue sky around here. Temperatures warming up. We're going to get more heat and more humidity. But what's next in the storm department? Remember, it's still May, still storm season for us. At least traditional storm season lasts for another two to three weeks. Still get storms, of course, in June, but usually the bulk of them are in April and May. We've got our next round coming in Friday late evening. Those trying to wrap up sometime Saturday morning. But until then, I think we've got more dry weather. There could be maybe a stray raindrop tomorrow morning, but otherwise we'll start in the 70s and we'll hit the mid 80s by the afternoon with some slowly clearing skies. I think we'll have a little bit more sun later in the day than we have it in the morning, but we'll get there. I think just after recess tomorrow, just after lunch, it'll be, it'll be a good afternoon for us. South winds continue to increase the next couple of days, not only bringing more heat, but bringing more humidity too. So tomorrow morning as we're waking up and headed out the door, there could be a few extra clouds better chances for showers off towards our north, but then eventually the clouds break up. We should get some sun, and once the sun breaks out, <laughs> temperatures, they could warm up big time. We may have some low 90s in the forecast tomorrow, especially south of the Bobby Opera Tunnel. The humidity is going up too. Next couple of days, we're kind of muggy, but then the next cold front comes in Friday, and it uses that heat and humidity gives us storms, but then we got much cooler air coming in for the weekend. Very pleasant weather for your Saturday and Sunday. But as that cold front comes in, I tell you what, we're going to be getting storms all the way from the Great Lakes south right here into Arkansas and Oklahoma. We're right in the mix of things. And timing wise, we're still working on it. Overall, I think around and after sunset is our best chance for storms. So Friday morning and Friday midday may actually turn out to be really nice. And then we'll just watch towards the north and west as that cold front comes in, sparking some good storms for us. Of course, we'll be tracking them. We've got a weather alert. What that means is five news crews are ready to go when the storms come. Well, and that also applies to viewers as well, too, that yeah. we're that you need to be alert for Friday afternoon, yeah. Friday yeah. evening, because it could be interesting because the first half day is going to be great. Oh, yeah. And then they can pop up like that, as you <laughs> guys know, think, around here. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to think, wait a minute, what? Wait, what does that mean? Yeah. And then Friday night hits. Exactly. All right. We'll be prepared. Matt, thanks. Well,